and welcome to Critical Tumble, where a bunch of longtime friends and internet nerds transcend geography through the power of Discord to play Dungeons and Dragons and finally get everybody all together in the same room. Room. Previously, the Cupcake Coterie is still traveling um, across the uh, frozen wastes that Grey's Inn have become. I know we've been doing this for a very long time now. We, we will stop eventually. Uh, but then again, given all the all the heat wave of the summer, it might, might, must be nice to be thinking about winter at least a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, there 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 was some significant horror en route. Um, there was there was the blind harpy, which they didn't think could get any worse, but boy, could it ever! Uh, the corp the necromancy imbued corpse piles. Uh, uh, tainted uh, white dragon babbies, uh, the the flesh cork, um, which everybody just basically kind of went, you know what, we're just setting this on fire and leaving. <laughs> and then they went to the Sullivan Plantation, which uh, some 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 things got found out. There was an awful lot of yet yeah, more body horror. Um, uh, pretty nasty ritual that was supposed to just curse the ground. So they couldn't stay there any longer once Faraday finally decoded the thing through uh, various uh, bits of what it is to be a rhyme hook. Um, and so they moved on. And en route, Blizzard. They're currently uh, in a uh, little kind of uh, the, I don't know uh, cattle herder shack uh, which is just supposed to be a uh, shelter from inclement weather just not this kind of inclement weather uh, following a, a fairly nasty encounter with three frost giants which uh, happened while Alice was uh, trying to hunt up some adjuncts to dinner she has rabbits. Uh, she also has some... I think she mostly got patched up after being on the receiving end of an awful lot of uh, axe whacking. Um, but uh, there's cer certain amounts of fun in that particular bit of combat, uh, up to and including Remy showing off a wall of fire, Alice responding by showing just how well those two do combat together. Wall of fire, thunder wave, bam, bam, whoop. <laughs> Which did a fair bit of damage to that particular uh, 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 frost giant and... Blight actually got used on something that wasn't undead! <laughs> and on the whole, um, they won out. It was just a little unfortunate because it indicated that the frost giants that were living kind of up in the cliff range uh, are kind of getting driven out by something or someone. Or both, depending on what you consider a sapient gargantuan creature to be. But yeah, for the moment, huddled back in a fairly small. I mean, it's, there, there's not a lot of space in this in this hut, but it's better than being blizzarded on. Alice looking at Darwin and going, since we're safe now, you can probably take notes if you want. I saw that look. <laughs> uh, you okay? Uh, Diagrams. <laughs> not, not, not actually bleeding anymore. That's usually my okay. I'll, I'll sleep it off. I'm fine. Just, I mean, there is usually more than three in a, in a, Pack is the wrong word, but it's what we use, so, uh... Frost Giants have communities, and the three is a scouting party. Oh, boy. So there might be more? 
There might be, but um, uh, by the same token, they might not start something. And I didn't start. I didn't start nothing. I see frost giants. I'm like, you know, I'm just over here hunting my rabbit, and they came after me. So. I mean, they're not the nicest things in the world, but it's entirely... I mean, what if, this is one of two things. Either they're trying to stake out their territory now that they've had to be driven out of their original territory, which means they're going to be greatly disappointed uh, when, I'm going to stick with when, we get this particularly nasty winter thing out of control. Or they were supposed to just be assessing and decided they were going to take out an easy target. And at which point we're going to get, yeah, sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, one of the things that we have to deal with a lot of the time, Darwin, is frost giants uh, up, up north. So... And I, I'm sure I mentioned, but this was a long time ago and a lot of shit has happened since. Part of where our language comes from is the giants. You're muted. Well, that was, I, I wasn't saying anything actually Yeah, out loud. but you were actually muted because normally I can hear more yes. from your end anyway. So, yeah. All right. uh, that, was, that was Darwin just sort of mouthing just Right, right, right. Not actually, I wasn't actually saying it, just because mm. I didn't want to actually interrupt. No, I mean, it's just like, no, I was pretty much done. It's, it's okay. gonna, it's gonna be one of those two things. It's either going to be, you know, you know, they, 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 they drove thing out of territory because they're not going to spread this far this fast. If I didn't see any of them trying to set up a settlement, then they went a little out of out of they went a little out of jurisdiction, no matter what. Although, this is something that I gotta have to clear with you guys because I'm not sure what you'll think of the idea, but. Um, and these, these 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 giants have been driven out of their homes. How do you guys tend to feel about being driven out of yours? Bad, very bad. Uh, and if somebody came along that could potentially help you get your home back, at the very least, we're gonna want them to know that they're going to need to move back. I mean, they're going to need to move back. Right, because once, I mean, even once once all this is dealt with, the weather should be <laughs> going yeah, they They don't know. How are they supposed to know anybody's coming to try to deal with this? Right, exactly. So, you know, they wouldn't, I mean, if I were them, I wouldn't want to be caught, you know, they're frost giants. I don't imagine they'd want to be caught and, and things start getting and more, warmer. more to the point, I don't want them moving further in because think about what we tripped over on the way here. Oh. They need to know. Yep. The more I think about it, the more I think we they need to know. Besides, they may be able to give us a bit more of the, in the way of information about what's going on over there. Fair, fair warning, not a lot of them speak common. This is largely going to be me, Re, and Barnabas. Uh, Faraday, if you want to come along, because I know that you're learning stuff. But at the very least, if we need backup, I can send word. Uh, you know, I don't you I, want us if we're going to be needed for backup. Just be, just be ready. We can move fast. The four, uh, Re and I can both dimension door. I grab Farida. Re grabs Barnabas. We're five hundred feet away, 
And then all you have to do when I'm messaging you guys is meet us halfway. Besides, if we get the hell out of Dodge, so to speak, um, they might not come after us anyway. Might. But, you know, it's... We have contingencies covered. I just don't want to turn up with the nine of us. Yeah, I was going to say, too big a group will probably not sit right with them. No. It will freak people out. And freaked out people, they tend to do one of two things. And frost giants don't do the running one. As you may have noticed. Uh, nice work with the uh, magic missiles, by the way, uh, Darwin. It's, uh, I know how tricky it can be to try any kind of ranged anything when so many people are in the middle of melee range. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I learned the hard way. <laughs> but I did learn. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it's... We all have our ways of dealing with it, and we'll try not to do anything too impressive where you can't watch to take notes. Okay? The consideration is appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Gotta, gotta leave them laughing. It's, uh, it's better than, it's better than leaving it on dire... I'm sorry, every time I hear the word dire, my brain immediately fills in penguin, and I, just, I, just, I still can't believe we did that. She, point, she point, points, out, points, out, points out in the direction where Legolas is leaning against the shack. It's just, what about out there? There's a whole lot of dire in the world, and some of it's nice. Mm -hmm. If you ever need reminding of that, remember uh, clarity in the middle of, uh, of, of dire husky pile. Bloofy swarm. Yep. Bloofy slubbery swarm. Yes, you. As I recall, you decided that trying to breathe snow was uh, better than being um, 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 licked all over, inside and out, by dire huskies. <clears throat> I don't, I know you don't mind clarity, but you know, it's apparently they have to buy him dinner first <laughs> or show off their tattoos. <laughs> Come on, guys, <laughs> heads out. <laughs> uh, leans back in. Uh, Hazel, I don't know if you know how to skin rabbits, but I know you can cook more or less okay now, so uh, I'll leave dinner to you. You're... I will assume she's being followed by those uh, she picked out. Barnabas, Remy, Faraday. I'm just making sure because nobody in that corner's moving! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sw swinging back and forth in their chair a little bit, otherwise not moving. <laughs> <laughs> I have to pay attention to all of you guys. It's a thing. So, yeah, it's... It's pondering a little bit and just being... Mm, I mean, Legolas is dire moose. Do we want to take the sled, or do we see if legs can manage four? Uh. Mm. I mean, the problem is if we take the sled, some of our supplies are on there, so... Probably better to leave the sled. Yeah, that would probably be the safer option. Hopefully. Don't, don't worry. Legs is... Like, legs is... Legs is... I mean, you... You've seen Legs stomp a young white dragon. I'm pretty sure Legs can handle it. So this sort of boosts Remy up because it's going to have to be in order of kind of height. So uh, Remy, Alice, 
Barnabas and Faraday mostly because she's got the neck to lean around if she needs to see. <laughs> so, uh, it's a little bit of a squish, and you've got Legolas kind of leaning up and not looking overly stressed, just like, what the f- they give it a look like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Uh, sorry, legs, but uh, you, you you heard us. We we can't leave them without the supplies, and we need to go that way now. Hey, if it goes if it goes wrong, you might have to stomp a frost giant. <laughs> you've never it, it, this is the closest you have ever seen to a moose trying to grin. <laughs> it's kind of like when Barnabas does that. <laughs> it's the muzzle. Yeah, that's it's, it's it's the very large, if not sharp, teeth. Although you know, Bruce in Finding Nemo. Well, you're 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 not there, but this is literally Alice a going. Uh, uh, to be fair, it's not quite like it's not quite like you, Barnabas, if only because you actually have blunt-ish, but still extant canines. Yeah, good point. That's never going to stop being, huh? <laughs> They're just my teeth. I usually don't think about them much, you know? Yeah, I'm not talking about you. You're used to them. You were born with them. It's, it's kind of like how I'll get used to these, but I'm always going to get the occasional look like, wait a minute, that's not supposed to happen. This while riding, uh, trying to keep to uh, a fairly gentle trot um, as much for uh, making sure everybody can stay on as uh, as to spare Legolas. And about 20 minutes or so later, you start seeing, I mean, it's, it's blizzardy and oh god, what is everybody's passive perception? Not high enough. I 11. still need to, yeah, I still need to know what it is. Thank you. Seventeen. Well. <laughs> it's always going to be oh, no, actually it's it's Farida and Alice because they both have the same passive perception. <laughs> So yeah, it's it's those two who notice through the blizzard that uh, yeah, there's uh, actually it makes a lot of sense because they're the ones who are used to this kind of weather. So uh, they're the ones who notice sort of those aren't hills; those are big tents. Well, big mm. for us; it's for giants, not so much. Oh, good. I haven't set up too strongly yet. Yeah, it, it, pointing it out won't do any good because there's too much blowing snow in the way. Just trust me when I say we're getting there. And as they ride up, just around the point at which Barnabas can actually see, excuse me, what might be tense through the blowing snow, is around the point where a couple of giants come out of the uh, the, the frosty snow-filled air with this you know, axes at the ready, but not looking like they're about to immediately start swinging. So that's the first Remy sees of, of any kind of uh, signs of life. At which point... You know, a giant could be that stealthy. It's the middle of a blizzard. I don't imagine you can see for shit. At which point she starts... Point. At which point she starts signing, like... Your scouts tried to kill us. I was just trying to get out of your territory, and we need to talk. Looks on the faces of these two are just like there's a certain look of like what is this coming out of this and what 
axes go not entirely down, but slung them loosely enough so they can start gesturing to each other. And Remy and Barnabas are the ones who recognize it as Okay, when did our scouts start chasing humanoids with wings? What the fuck is this? Why do they have a dire moose this side of the cliffs? They say we need to talk. She speaks our language! How the fuck does she speak our language? It's like, did she, she just get... <coughs> and gestures, I can hear you. <laughs> One of them clears throat and in kind of broken common is just... Okay, we talk. Follow. And sling axes across shoulders and okay guys they're, they're at least intrigued let's go pop, pop. good sign that's a start that's a start something like that yeah so if they keep trying to talk over our heads they're going to have to remember that uh, we can actually understand it most of us By the time they, they, they've gone a little ways, Remy can now actually see a conglomeration of a half a dozen smallish by the standards of giants' tents and one fairly large one in the middle. That one's starting to look like... They haven't really started fortifying it yet, but it looks like they might. This is clearly whatever serves them as a command tent kind of situation. And, uh, yeah. Slides off Legolas's back and helps anyone who needs it. Probably Remy, just because, you know, you... And then murmurs quietly to Legolas. If you start hearing signs of a mess, you know what to do. <laughs> Looks at you guys, uh... That would mean stomp the tent, stomp anything that's not us, and then when we get on, run like hell. Sounds like a good backup plan. I do occasionally think of the escape plans, you know. Steps into the command tent. What you've got there is a... Again, for you guys, large fireplace and... A about eight frost giants with the two who came in sort of standing just on the insides of the door so that's a total of ten with the with the with the two of them gesturing like these this lot turned up said something about our scouts one of them speaks our language at which point three of us speak your language Looks very pointedly at Remy and Barnabas. <laughs> Remy signs a, a polite greeting. Barnabas is a little more terse with the signing, but does the same. <laughs> one of them looks politely in common for the one who wasn't flagged up. Why not this one? I'm teaching this one. Look, said Faraday. You want to learn? Why? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there, 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 there's a short pause and then there, there is... It, it's more of a rumble than a chuckle, but it's definitely a chuckle. Okay. Our scouts. I tripped over them while I was hunting rabbits. I moved in the direction of a way. They followed me with axes raised and clear intent to murder. Uh, 
and they not come back because I got to my friends. We defended ourselves. Ah. I'll say it's just doing, okay, they're going to make me do all the talking. Why are you here? Home isn't. How so? He's clearly struggling a little with the common, but is trying for Ms. Why Not over here. Uh, <laughs> and eventually he just kind of gives an almost apologetic look to Faraday and then signs, When you have two ancient white dragons land on your territory, you have a tendency to leave. Two of them. Is that, just so I know, is that signed or is that spoken? Spoken. Yes. That, that is a problem. In signing, uh, Barnabas, pardon me, did you say two ancient White dragon? Well, they were both about the same size. Signed. The last, mm. the last scouts to evacuate said that one went south and one went north along the cliff range. That covered most, if not all, of our territories. I'll say in gesture, okay. You guys don't do maps. What direction did you come down here from? Points in a sort of a northeasterly direction up the... So it would sort of meet a midway point up the cliff range. Was thinking about this in, in common. So, if one of them went north, and one of them went south, we might still only have the one to deal with here. But that makes issues with where is the second one going? Oop, we lose Ava. Uh, no, no, no. This, this in gestures to Barnabas this time. Why are you so curious about all this? <clears throat> We're dragon slayers. Remy signs. What she said. Yeah, that's... It's a good thing that uh, they were sort of glancing over all four of you when that happened, because uh, otherwise Remy's signing would have been missed, because clearly it was talking at Barnabas and looks at you. Looks at comparatively very tiny you. <laughs> you. All of us and some of our companions back at our camp. <laughs> I'll say not being, not quite being able to help herself going, I did solo one, if that helps. <coughs> and very quickly sketches out, you know, it was up there, I flew up to it, wacky whack, yeep. 
and you want to kill this one. These ones. Yes. We've come here very specifically to kill the one that we thought was occupying Grey's Inn. And if there's another one that's causing trouble too, we're going to have to deal with it sooner or later. And sort of look at each other, mostly over you. Because for Barnabas, this is the first time in a very long time that he's had that many people being able to look over his head. Is <laughs> frost giants in the 10, 12 foot kind of range? <laughs> Certainly a novel sensation, that's for sure. <laughs> and you sort of get to... I think we might need to discuss this. You may stay by fire. There is... I don't know what any of you eat. But there is food. Thank you. And it, it, if you, you notice now that you're not necessarily looking at that many giants... Uh, there's a little table off to the side of the fire uh, upon which is uh, indeterminate large probably grazing mammal uh, burnt to within an inch of its life Alice looks at it looks at them I keep forgetting that fire is something that fire on meat is something that happens for other people to the frost giants. But it's polite. Rip. Yomf. We did have some pretty not so great cooks in the combine, so. Don't remind me. Are you two actually going to try it? Yep. Yes. Okay. Um, this is going to be the weirdest strength saving throw in... Actually, no. Strength check, to be fair. This is going to be the weirdest strength check in history. Farida doesn't have to make it. Neither does <laughs> Alice. Say. Yeah. yeah. Barnabas has subsisted. Part of the reason Barnabas likes his sweet so much is because there are a lot of times when it was subsisting on, you know, both here and Ravnica, where he was subsisting on some fairly overdone jerky. So this he can do. Remy is going to struggle to actually chew this to a swallowable consistency. She'll do it, but it'll take some time. <laughs> to, to, to be fair, it takes a certain amount. Just trying to rip off a a, 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 a mouthful. And as I say, Alice is used to this. Farida has those teeth. But to be fair, Farida would probably prefer it to go way the other way in terms of how much has been cooked. <laughs> probably. I need to teach these guys about, like, mushrooms. Is anybody going to try to eavesdrop? Nope. Remy's preoccupied. <laughs> yeah, Remy is going to be chewing the same mouthful for about five minutes. <laughs> Barnabas will, putting on a show of, like, making it look like he's spending more time chewing than he really has to, so maybe a little eavesdrop. Anybody who is attempting to eavesdrop, please make me a perception check. 
You said perception? Yes, I did, because you're looking, because this isn't hearing, this is watching hands move. I clicked twice by accident. First one with the first one. Well, we'll we'll call it, we'll call it a success either way. And oh, to be fair, Faraday doesn't actually understand any of this. Yeah. Although, actually, give me an intelligence check. Just we and see how your education is coming along. <laughs> Not very well. <laughs> You're Not a little <laughs> little bit too too preoccupied by the novelty, and these are very big humanoid creatures with very big axes. <laughs> So, yeah, what Barnabas is getting is... So, these... These have to be adventurers. Don't we eat adventurers? Not always. Not when they're going to be helpful. How are they going to be helpful? That one soloed a dragon. You, she, you really think she was telling the truth? This language, you can't lie! Some people can she looked way too smug, believe me. But currently, what they are doing is trying to decide, A, whether you guys are serious, B, whether you guys are actually capable, and C, why you want, why you want them to know about what you're trying to do. Currently, the, uh, the, the, the options are... Do they want us to help them? In which case, fuck that. Are they just trying to scare us off their territory? Or are they expecting reparations for our scouts trying to attack them while they're trying to save the world? You can, f you can see the sarcasm in that one. <laughs> Arnabas mutters low. You know, sarcasm in this language is quite the thing. Isn't it great? It's mm, it's an art. Mm. I take it you're getting more than I am. I'm a little bit too worried about uh, Reese teeth. Still yeah, chewing. They're, <laughs> yeah, that, that, they're trying they're debating what they what they think we're actually trying to do. And why, if, whether to believe us that we're, that we're dragon slayers and why we would talk to them about it. I didn't get a chance to ask, to ask if you wanted to see my dragon slaying sword. Yeah, but you wouldn't be able to demonstrate that it is a dragon slaying sword uh, without a dragon to slay. However, that is true. Starts rummaging around in her bag of holding teeth. On the table, teeth, pff, scales, pff, bits of skin. Pff. It's good and, and j just enough to be carrying. It's good to sort out the bag of holding once in a while. Mm. At which point they look. Then the ones who were insisting she wasn't lying just gives the other ones a look like, mm hmm. <laughs> Just dumps things back into her bag. One is actually a little shorter than the others, but a little more ornate in the sense of wearing a bit more in the way of trophy on clothing slash armor. So probably more or less in charge going... Okay, you clearly un and gesturing. Okay, you clearly understood most of that. Why are you telling us this? Because we don't want to have a conflict with you. We we have a common enemy. Also, you really don't want to keep moving any further west. Speaking and gesturing this time. So she's kind of hoping Faraday will pick up a bit if she does that. There's more in there's more at stake and more in play than just the dragons. They are trying to curse this land. 
now that we know that you were living up there, we're hoping that we can get these sons of bitches before they curse your land. I don't even know how that cliff face qualifies, but... I get you probably don't want to help. That's fine. I would just be prepared to move back. Because it will be better than here. Because when it's... Either it's going to be cursed land or it's going to be full of army. And too warm. This back towards them and this time not really troubling himself to uh, try to not be eavesdropped upon just fucking heroes is the gesture you guys are getting I'll say it's just having a little excuse the hell out of me kind of look looks at you four looks at Barnabas for a minute and steps over to taller, a little less muscled and more in the way of pouches, bottles and things strapped around them than, <coughs> than heavily armed the way the other ones are. This one you can't see because he's making sure to keep his back to all four of you. Mm. This one gives him a look but hands over a bottle. Walks over to Barnabas and lean actually has to lean down to hand it over. Thank you. What is it? It, and he's, he's trying for common is potion you fight at the front yes this one is not affected so much by cold pointing at oh. Faraday this one I don't know what that armor does but is probably fine this one also, predominantly immune to cold. Well, resistant anyway. Same as her. Mm. You, not so much. Thank you. As sincere as he possibly can. Well. Is an investment... That's fair. That's very fair. Now go away. And Alice A just gestures a yeah, okay, and leaves. Okay. Follows. Yep, same here. Alice A holds out a hand. Can I look at that for a second? Hands it over. Yeah, this isn't going to just make you resistant to cold. Oh? Uh, one of the things that um, the frost giants will do for those who are those few non-giants who are kind of, you know, worthy, I guess. They can lend a little bit of their strength. Really? It's gonna taste abominable. Just well, so you know. But you'll be a bit stronger and you'll be resistant to cold. For about an hour after drinking. Well, alright then. Yeah, that's nice. That's very nice. Yeah, they don't they don't give that shit lightly. Oh. Hoist I mean, on to Legolas who's looking a little 
a little disappointed that he's not getting to, uh, <laughs> to to stomp on anybody. But to be fair, there are a couple of uh, frost giants who have come out of their own tents and are looking at this dire moose like, oh shit, it's not dinner. <laughs> Well, you know, there is good eating on a dire moose, after all. Yeah, but you gotta get it. Yeah, I'm just glad they didn't try for everybody's sake. Let's go. Yeah. Meantime, what have you five been doing? Besides potentially fretting. Lots of fretting. <laughs> mostly, I'm mostly, Darwin's mostly just keeping out of the way of Hazel doing whatever she needs to do as far as dinner prep is concerned and keeping an ear slash eye slash it's mostly the there's equivalent would be <laughs> there's most there's mostly there's mostly hearing because not a whole lot of window in fact nil window in this tiny little hut yeah well you know whatever the the the, the equivalent of just in case they're descending, I need to pay attention. Type of thing. <laughs> in all, in all fairness, Darfit is probably about wise enough to know that if the sending was going to happen, it probably would not be to Darvin. If anybody, it would probably be to Hazel because Hazel is the one yeah. who can call the most attention to themselves in the shortest period of time. Yeah, it would probably be helping Hazel. Yeah, fair. Uh, so anyway, Clarity too will be helping Hazel. Oh, we're having we're having a, a how many mm. cooks is too many in a very small space kind of uh, <laughs> situation. Yeah, yeah, super advantage. Let's go. No, not super advantage. <laughs> one is with with with, cook, with cooking in that small of space. One is advantage. Uh, um, two is you're going back to normal. But I'm not going to ask you yeah. to roll for anything just on the basis that it's it's. It, I mean, it depends on how fancy you want to get. Are you just going to... I mean, there, there's a very small yeah, pot-bellied stove. Uh, actually, no, we roll the Hand of Fate. Would it, would it fit the war skillet? Uh, that's what I was rolling the Hand of Fate about. Just. <laughs> only just. And I will be using the war skillet. But, and whatever, and tr trying to keep this as simple as possible. So yeah, as I mean, to... the, the, the war skillet is fine. It, it, it Things wobble a little when it becomes the war cauldron. Yeah. Like, there, just, there's a bit of extra creak. <laughs> <laughs> and you can you can you can put together something simple, but once everything is chopped and the appropriate bits are in, it's mostly just a matter of wait and let things simmer. Yep, I'm just gonna stay paying attention to it as paying attention to it primarily, and just kind of settle next to clarity while I'm while I'm keeping my eyes on. Yes, the whole kind of stir mean. stirring occasionally. <laughs> yep. So it's basically very quiet and very tense in there for like an hour. <laughs> yeah, I will. I will put you all out of your misery. About an hour later, and Hazel is you know dishing up. Uh, when you. Okay, what does everybody hear's passive perception? <laughs> Thirteen. Bad. Eleven. Thirteen. Um, is it any better? Sixteen. Oh, no. Sorry, I didn't catch that. What we were... Passive perception. What is it? Thirteen. So it's 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 Rylan who, over the sounds of the blizzard, hears. Okay, that's got to be Legolas. Yeah. They're almost here. You can stop fretting, Darwin. Did you hear me? They're almost here. <laughs> Deflates with a sigh of relief. And uh, a couple of minutes later, just yeah. Tap, 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 tap. Opens door. <laughs> In quickly. We don't want the cold 
air coming in for these guys. And uh, ah. I'm, I'm assuming these three are moving because if not, they're getting grabbed and dragged. Yeah, yeah, no. Fair enough. Oh. We'll win. Yeah. And of course, with the, the two... The two largest people in the party and the one with the wingspan entering the place is suddenly a fair bit smaller. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not that bad of a thing in the blizzard, though. No, but if anybody tries to lean on my wings, I'm going to get pissed. And you know that thing when somebody sleeps on your arm and you get that pins and needles thing? Imagine that with these. That happens. That that, uh, we, we there there may there may have been some um, experimentation. Ah. Anyway, so that went interestingly. Yeah. Uh, well, well. And, uh, <laughs> it's like good interestingly. Well, you know, nobody tried to kill us. Yeah. That's people cool people enough. were a little people were a little insulting, but nobody tried to kill us. Not great news, but mutual understanding. Let's just start, I guess. They think we're idiots. They can think what they like as long as you know they don't try and smoke <coughs> us. Also, they did yeah. tell us something we didn't know. Yeah. No. Although, uh, no. To be fair, we did kind of know, or would have, if we thought for like ten seconds. Varidel, the one that we're hunting, is male. What did we find? Ah, uh, spawn, which implies mm -hmm. a mate. Yep. As far as we can tell, the mate one of them one of them went further north, and one of them is down here somewhere. So we're still probably only dealing with one at a time, probably. But it's not like they were paying attention to where the dragon is moving now that they've moved out of where dragons have smashed. So yeah, they think we're idiots. Heroic idiots. I think they thought Farida was adorable though. <laughs> which is which is which is really funny to see a frost giant think anything or anyone was cute. They, just, they also decided to be helpful. Barnabas holds up the, the potion. He gave me this. According to Alice, say it's both cold resistance and strength bones. I think it's because he was uh, uh, smart and observant enough to try to eavesdrop on them and to understand what they were saying when he did. Wait. They... Rewarded him for eavesdropping? They're not exactly nice, Frost Giants. But they do respect a... I don't know. It, uh, Leather thinking? Well, it's more of the... It's more on the adversarial side. Although we weren't... Uh, we weren't enemies at that point, but it was an adversarial sort of situation because on that level, at least, it was us versus them because they didn't want us to be hearing and we did anyway. It seemed to be more of a respect for competency and... Uh, well, that sort of too, thing. but uh, to be fair, mostly it's, yeah, okay, you got us. Like I say, frost giants are not nice. Really not nice. Have you guys been like this quiet and tense the entire time? Yes. Most, uh, mostly him and these three have been in the kitchen, but yes. In the kitchen? This is one room. <laughs> I would still section off a zone for the kitchen uh, in a metaphorical uh, sense. Maybe the kitchen's the state of mind. I was gonna say, anything can be a kitchen if you insist and cook hot enough. <laughs> yeah, speaking of uh, speaking of c cooking hard enough, Bree, how are your teeth? Thank you. 
Oh, uh, let's, let's just say I'm hoping that those rabbits come out better. <laughs> well, it looks like Stu in the offing, so it shouldn't be too too hard on your jaw this time. Thank goodness. Uh, yeah, that frost frost giants have two settings in terms of how they cook their meat. We don't, or we immolate it. Picture the toughest jerky I, you've ever I'm, had, and then make it tougher. I'm honestly wondering if I could teach them how to cook. <laughs> I would have, if the reaction would have been anything other than getting punched. I think we'll... After they find out we killed the first dragon, then maybe we have a, another... Don't encourage her! Dip. Fair point. <laughs> they... They do things their way, and we lost Marion again. Yeah, something about the internet being buggy uh, the last few days. Yeah, it's... It, Frost Giants, they do things their way. Trying to teach them is disrespecting their culture. They respond to that violently. Mm. So it's off the table. That's entirely fair. Unless they want to know, I bet, and then you better not deny it. The thing is, they'd be too proud to ask. Mm. I think the most I've ever seen them do in terms of we, we want something they know how to do. They just take the person who knows how to do it. And then they do it until they no longer can. Either because they did it until they died. Well, they did it until they died one way or another. Whether it's old age, exposure, because they do not live in the nicest climates. Or they tried to run away and got an axe through the skull. I did mention they're not nice, right? All the more reason to get to uh, Gray's Inn. So then spring comes and they have... Less incentive to stick around. Like I say, and like I said to them, that it should not be moving further west. Hmm. I'm just hoping they took it to heart that bad shit. I mean, we did what we can. We can't really control how they react, but they've been warned. Like I said, I can hope. I said hope, not I, I know some of how frost giants are, but this is kind of outside anybody's experience, including theirs. Mm. But yeah, apparently most of them got driven out of their homes by, uh, well, draconic bullshit. Stupid, annoying dragons. I've never what? heard a person make a dragon sound on a, on a, on a inconvenience par to a mosquito before. <laughs> we have been calling them flying handbags for a while. Yeah, but that's a little different. That's, that's whistling past the graveyard. That's SWAT. I think it's going to take a little more than SWAT, guys. More than that, for sure. Uh, meantime, I, th I think we can just hope this blizzard blows over by tomorrow. I mean, to be fair, uh, we're, to be fair, we're going to have to travel in it anyway. Yep. With Ross Giant Giants in the immediate vicinity. I don't want to be here longer than I have to. Mm -hmm. I mean, given yeah. how given how close uh, you said the Sullivan Plantation was to uh, to graze in, looks like we're going to be getting in that general vicinity tomorrow. 
So breakfast is going to probably have to be the spell meal, isn't it? Probably. Works for me. We can't hear you, Marion. Uh, speaking of the Frost Giants, um, did you tell them about the three we killed? You mean, we definitely mentioned that there were other bits and pieces, but honestly, I don't think they were going to much care. Not to mention, I don't think, I figure they must have guessed, given... We showed up. Well, also, there are two of them. Dragons don't tend to spend a lot of... I've been reading through Hazel's book. Dragons, even dragons of the same color, don't tend to spend a lot of time in each other's immediate vicinity. They're too proud, they're too arrogant, they're too power-hungry, particularly the chromatics. M metallics, as we've seen, are a little better at getting along, but you'll notice they still live in their very specific territories. Mm -hmm. But chromatics... No, their territory, theirs. The only reason they'd get together for any length of time is breeding. But it just does just mean that at some point we have another dragon to deal with. And the female is going to be the harder one, I think. She's going to be pissed we killed her, killed her kids? More than that. I don't know, mate, I guess. Not, no. I don't think she gave a shit if we ki that we killed her mate. I was just thinking the eggs were tainted. Oh. From the inside. Oh, boy. Yeah. And so that means the source is probably might, as well. Might be. Certainly keeping a good point to keep in mind. Things to look into later, I guess. Uh, yep. You okay, Barnabas? Yeah, I'm fine. Just, I don't know. Want Getting to, a little. Want to get on with the hitting things with the axe? A, a bit, and it's also getting a little tiring of the, oh, and it gets even worse, and oh, and it gets even worse, and it's just whining on my part, I know, but come on. It's one dragon, it's two, it's this. <sighs> Frustrated. Yeah, I think those of us who have been on the merry-go-round longer than others uh, probably know that this has been happening the entire goddamn time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know. It's utterly irrational, and I know that, but it still makes me grumble. <laughs> In all fairness, I think if you, want to, if you want to get past that, look at it this way. We're looking at extra planar taint meme. Anything else is a step down from that. Yeah. So it's not it just keeps getting worse. It's more... Okay, we have a few warm-ups before we actually get to the utterly impossible thing. It's like... Correct me if I'm wrong, because I, I only know from the things I pick up from you. It's like working a case, I guess. There's certain things and people you have to kind of shake down for who, what, where the next time. And everybody mm -hmm. you get to is stronger than the last until you get to the head of the chain. That's exactly right. Mm. Good point. So, yeah, it's just for every everything we manage to take down, we find out about the next thing. Work the way so up the chain. My brain kind of went, so a case is kind of like an onion? Yeah. Peeling away layers? And makes you cry a terrible lot. I suppose it was putting on the case, yeah. Oh, yeah. Makes sense. Well, eyes watering from paperwork is probably a thing, at the very least. Oh. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I listen when you talk. Uh. I still don't understand why you need that much paper to say I arrested a dude. <laughs> if I could explain it, I would. 
But I just made my peace with that a long time ago. <laughs> At the very least, you don't have to do that here. It is a definite perk. Let's eat something that's not going to crack one of Reese Muller's. Um, Good idea. It wasn't the worst thing I've ever been into, but... Yeah. I won't want to eat too much of that too long. You I hit my curiosity Yeah. It wasn't the worst thing. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Never mind, then. And to put it very... very to put it very simply, um, it was a food at a revel we had to bust for the gruel, which by calling it, they considered their food to be a test of strength. Given what you've said about the gruel, yeah, I can see that. So, you know. So the food tries to fight you. Either literally, or can you keep it down? Oh my gods. Oh, hey, Barnabas, what do you think they'd think of some of my spice levels? <laughs> they'd love They'd love that shit. They'd absolutely <laughs> love that shit. And, it, and, then that, and, and you know what? There, there was this one time where we actually got them like into a pissing contest about who could eat the spiciest shit. And Sorry, when you to... said, given what you've already said about the gruel, my brain went immediately to literally the pissing contest. That went I mean, as well. <laughs> it, it, that can <coughs> does happen, but you know, it, the, the, some of them aren't the smartest, and you know, we had to we had to get some people out of there and got them onto who could eat the hottest hotter stuff for some reason, and you know, their manhoods were were, were challenged and. Their fierceness was challenged, and while they were, you know, both desperately trying not to cry from what they were eating, we were able to get everyone out safely. I would kick their asses. <laughs> <laughs> With that particular uh, feat of strength. Yeah, they're <laughs> it was hilarious, but... <sighs> they were they were they were small fry who are not very big in the clans. You don't you don't pull that shit off with the uh, with with the real power is. Mm, I'm sure Most you I'm sure you could come close if you're uh, not exactly what they'd expect to uh, lose any kind of feat of anything to. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> then again. I think, given I, I apparently look like one of those angels you were talking about in Ravnica mm -hmm. now. Oh, yeah. So I would actually get fewer weird looks there than I do here. Yeah, actually. It'd be mostly, what are you doing here, not what are you? It's a very different thing. Yeah, of course, their guess of which what I am would be wrong. <laughs> Irony. Mm-hmm. By this point, there is there is stew. Yay, chewable food. Mm hmm. Yes. Well, Re was having the most trouble of any of us. It's not like it was a challenge to Farida's teeth. Wasn't a cakewalk for me either. Just that, you know. Ran into this shit before. Mm. And I got bigger molars than most. They kind of got to grind it. Yeah. Meanwhile, I had on keg jerky once. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Quick question, DM. Do you have, have we all at least heard of what uh, Ankeg is yes actually at, uh, when you went to uh, when, when you went to the first uh, uh, lore moot uh, when Darwin was still a college of lore bard uh, there, 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 the, 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 the song the story song being sung was about Ankeg so jerky made out of a giant bug yeah mm. 
there's some there's some fibrinous membranous stuff that approximates muscle to keep things moving. You peel that off the inside, uh, you spice it appropriately, and then you smoke it for about four days. Weird at all that I think that people would more likely try to make alcohol out of those things. Oh yeah, they did that too. Make alcohol out of it. Everyone makes alcohol out of whatever they can get their hands on. It's it ferments. You can you can booze it. I think the absolute worst was the um, uh, they, they, they 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 somebody actually tried to make alcohol out of spine blight. Seems like a very bad plan, considering the spines alone. Yeah, they want to know what the insides are like. There was a lot of distillation involved, and 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 what they came out with was kind of the consistency of syrup. And was it I think so. I never tried it myself. I have some respect for my own life. Uh, so it was like the bad version of the fairy dragon's horde. Um. Something As quick as I am. Oops, sorry, go ahead. I, have, I heard something about, um, um. Glowing multicolored spine blights dancing and poking them at random with the needles. Basically, the the people I've heard of who've tried this shit uh, wound up uh, hallucinating vibrantly colored dancing spine blights and having pain twinges for like. 12 hours? I'm very glad that whoever came up with uh, that was the dude that, that was the dune that cell was a lot more sensible about uh, controlling the effects I guess yeah, that uh, see that, that that's the dune folk they're the same ones who were uh, who 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 play dart games with spine blight spines? <laughs> Oddly enough, that makes more sense. <laughs> eh, it depends on what you're using as a target. Oh, <laughs> Jeez, or who yeah. they're using as a target? Oh, it's not so much that they're not actively trying to hit anybody, but the really hardcore ones will have put a hand on the target and have the person throwing try to put it between each finger. Even as even as like willing to try new experiences I am, nope, 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 nope. They say it's the best way to learn reflexes, because on the one hand, if you see it coming at you and you know it's going... You can, t I guess, makes it easier to tell what's going to hit and what's going to miss. Because if that's coming at you, and if you're not as good at that yet, uh, nothing says improve your aim uh, by the person you just filled with, uh, with, with agony beating the living shit out of you. Uh. Right. I think attempting to get some sleep because stuff is going to have to happen tomorrow and we just mm. hope this blizzard doesn't last. And mm. honestly, we're a little past break time anyway, so we'll, we will come back in a few minutes and move to the last leg of our journey. And if I've timed this right, we'll get to the dragon next session. And we're back uh, after spending a... a Fairly snowy, wrathly sort of uh, evening. 
Thankfully, at least no nightmares this time. However, when you wake up, the noises of Legolas um, patrolling, this probably largely for Farida and Rylan and Alice A, because they're the ones with the fairly high passive perceptions, the noise of Legolas patrolling seems to be happening from up. Uh-oh. Well, yeah, again, it's, it's, all, it's, it's, it's these three. You just got Alice going, oh, uh, fuck. Just how? Um, I think I know how. Everybody, please stand away from the door. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Making sure everybody Sorry. is far yeah. against the opposite wall. Eep. It opens in, thankfully. But the snow is packed hard enough to not fall into the space. But the door is entirely full of... Wall of snow. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. Just what we need. The sled is out there. Oh, that's right. The sled is out there and the sled is buried now. And of course, well, given that we are, an object, at least we can find it. Well, uh, but also there's we don't know what the weather is like out there because even if there were windows, it wouldn't make any kind of difference. Um, Hazel, do you have enough in your bag to make a start on breakfast? Yeah, so long as I can make a start, the spell should amplify it into something a little more. I'm okay. I'm gonna dig up and see what we've got up there. I'm less liable to get frostbite than almost anybody in this room. So, uh, again, back from the door because I'm gonna have to dig some of it in. And yeah, dig, 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 dig. And I take it Hazel starts cooking? Oh, yeah. Producing stuff from the pack, though I'm not going to start weaving the spell into it until I see what Alice A manages to bring back. Yeah, well, um... You guys do all notice when Alice A breaks through to the uh, top of the snow crust because you get howling wind and... Uh, more snow, but this falling rather than being dug through. I'm gonna keep looking for the sled. Shut the door! Push, push it closed. Yeah, the, 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 once you've got the snow out of the way, it's fairly easy to shut the door again. And again, Ryland and Faraday here, kind of, not so much human being or humanoid scraping, but antlers. <laughs> At least somebody's having a good time. Well, yeah, uh, for Ryland and I Faraday, though, that's just digging out the, uh, it's digging out, Legolas is digging out the sled. Oh. At least if there's some good news, it seems like Ellis has found the sled. Something? On the they're... first round of early cooking, I'm just gonna hand out small snackies. Mm, yeah, you've got you've you've got the infinite bread basket. There's and yep. the the like that and some of the jam. Yeah, and the infinite you've... pastry glitch. Yes, you well you do have the you also have the infinite uh, pastry uh, uh, basket which currently has uh, donuts which turn out to be uh, uh, maple cream filled. Ooh, donuts! 
Mm. Barnabas? And we've lost Barnabas. Get for sampling. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm last. last. It's, Everyone else gets it's first. Infinite. It's infinite. It's infinite. Yeah, it's just don't make yourself sick. Mm. Okay, let me grab one and then get it away from me. <laughs> 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 you had more self control than the of us. one and hand it to him. And Thank you. then go around to everyone else with the basket. Yes, uh, Flitty, who's been more or less residing in Ryland's scarf this entire time, uh, it tries to drag a donut into the scarf and is not strong enough to do so, and then poof into the pastry basket. <laughs> Art is back. A little pause. I'm scratch, 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 scratch. Tickles, 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 Sylvan, because it's it's. <laughs> I was just gonna get a donut. How many do you want? I think if I ate, bo I'm not even gonna eat a whole one because I think if I tr, it's bigger than me. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna like scoop a donut and a flitty up. Okay. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is adorable. <laughs> It is. <laughs> um, a little while later, uh, bah, you hear slide, click, and poof, in comes Alice A. His sort of roll the uh, hands as, as she you know, comes up, hands Hazel uh, uh, one of the supply bags, shuts the door. Her hair is full of snow. It's hard to see unless you're close up just because of the color of her hair, but... Remy, in particular, who's used to that hair, can can see it faster than the others. You guys don't much notice until it shakes the braid and it looks like you know, snow. <laughs> so it's still blizzarding out there. Really? Mm. Oh. Okay. It's also kind of foggy. Oh, oh great. Oh, I yeah. hope we can navigate and move fast enough to make it to uh, the Flying Handbag Brigade before the spell runs out. Well, from what your yeah. book, from what your book was saying, that just means we're close. Fair enough. Areas around a dragon's lair for like, I mean, I know that uh, that that. This particular uh, conglomeration of dragon uh, has affected more than the usual, but your book says that about six miles from, I mean, even if we extrapolate to like 10 or 12 or whatever, um, chilly fog, light obscuring, so it's not that bad. The other problem is the blizzard, which is also, the closer we get, the more of it. I guess we really shouldn't have expected to have the weather clear up this close. Oh, it's not going to get any better. Probably not, no. Cool dragon leakage, joy. And that answers the other question. Well, we knew we knew it was close. Mm -hmm. I'm looking through the bag uh, that, that Alice handed. There, there's enough to make a make a, a solid breakfast. I'm going to start on that, and I'm going to uh, start weaving Heroes Feast into it. The, the, the feast that Hazel lays out, um, you, which she shouldn't be able to make to that extent with what she's got, is reminiscent of one of the bigger brunches at Hearthome. So you've got the eggs and the bacon and the ham and the sausage and the waffles. Behold, holy cake pans. Yeah, and there, yes, there are also pancakes. Literally, and I'm pointing to the now glowing god mark. <laughs> yeah, that takes about two hours to prepare, so uh, everybody start devouring. I don't know if uh, stopping for lunch is going to be a thing at this point. 
don't worry too much about the conditions legs is used to traveling in this and now we've got the sled dug out um well he's got the sled dug out and we can just hitch him up and pull y'all out of the hole assuming it doesn't get too much more covered while we're eating thus guys please <laughs> Darvin immediately starts Everyone just who is partaking in this digging next, in. in this next hour. Enjoy your two uh, d ten additional hit points. We mm. yes, make note of that because they're not going to come into play. Um, I don't think we're going to be fighting a. Uh, Oh, do we each roll separately? Do we? Yeah. Do we roll separately, or does Hazel roll for us? Let's have Hazel roll for um, us, so everybody can get the same one. It's probably uh, set, the just add seven to your current hit points. Dice hit dice. This is not temp HP. It's just on top of it. So it's max HP. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, and you gain that much. That's nice. Wait, I'm confused. What am I? Huh? It, 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 there's there's extra. Yeah, there. This she. What I did was because you get uh, temporary hit points. Um, mm -hmm. Hazel rolls for all of us so that not everybody has to roll. So she yeah, rolled. They're not temp HP in the normal sense. They're full on additional max. It, but it only lasts for the length of time that the Heroes Feast does. For twenty, yeah, it, it, this only lasts for twenty-four hours, but you get seven more hit points that can be healed back into. Oh, for the, the, the oh, 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 okay, okay, that makes more sense. Okay, sorry, now I follow. Yeah, basically, the your, your hit point maximum goes up by seven. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, so as long as everybody's making a note of that and that it goes back to normal after, then we're good. All set. Yep. And yeah, rem remember the uh, remember the immune to poison, immune immune to being frightened and uh, advantage on wisdom saves. For 24 hours. Yep. Mm. Okay. That's me noted. Okay, right. So it was immune to poison and, and frightened? Yes. Yeah. And uh -huh. advantage on whiz, whiz save. Got it. Yeah. And yeah, it's it's a it's a good feed and uh, because this is like it says up to twelve other creatures. So Alice is you know, watching everybody nomf and sort of makes a makes up a little segment for Flitty and then goes out with uh, some of the waffles and uh, and some of the pancakes for Legolas. Like well, if 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 we have the euphoria breath incident again, we probably want Flitty to be safe. And given that I know, I know what I know, we were discussing this uh, when you were trying to decode that ritual, Faraday. But um, um, a good point was brought up. Um, we can probably link. Both ends of the uh, of the chain to the immovable rod. It might be helpful to earth shape some of it at the you know, one end at the start anyway, so we're not leaning entirely on Barnabas and Remy's strength. But it shouldn't have to hold indefinitely. Okay. Yeah. The 
I, I was actually thinking about that because, like, my mold earth can do like five feet of earth at a time, which probably won't hold up very well against just a dragon tugging. Well, again, that's not. We're not counting on just that. Yeah, it's more of an extra bit of. I don't know insurance, I guess. There's and even, at least, well, know, and at least for a little while, I know you know, uh, Alice, uh, you and I could probably boost you know uh, Remy and Barnabas a little bit. We shouldn't necessarily need to, particularly not if Barnabas has that potion. We want to save the spell energy yeah. as much as possible. True, true, true. Re remember true. Okay, one of the fair. one of the problems with dragons. I mean, we remember when we were dealing with Corivel. You could just shake some stuff off. That's another thing, right. guys. Do not those of you who are um, who are, who are focusing strongly on spells. If it's something that they can dodge or just hold up against through force of will or strength or whatever. Do not blow all your big gun spells early on. It will shrug them off. I mean, some will still do some you damage, the but... Burn through their... uh, sorry. Yeah, that rules like Hazel is saying. Use smaller stuff. Smaller but annoying stuff. <laughs> Anything that is not necessarily strong, but disabling. So it's going to oblige it to keep trying to resist it until it runs out of the ability to resist. I mean, I'm going to try sneaking confusion upon it. That's going to be harder to shake off if... If you can't see, I'm casting it. It worked on the blue. Yeah. Well, let's just... And I will. Uh, oh, I will. I will. I will be. I've been making some notes to 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 be uh, appropriately viciously mocking, as it were. <laughs> oh, the, given given the given the, the the solidity of a dragon, he probably probably just take those. Well, yes, but it also. They, they can do, I, you know, aside from just the straight damage, there's some other, there's some other, other perks to being able to do that. So, well, we'll see anyway. But yeah, out of uh, out of character, it, it does grant disadvantage on a on an attack roll. We shall see. Although, in all fairness, uh, disadvantage when uh, their uh, attacks are plus fourteen. <laughs> Hey, it's better than nothing. Oh, I'm ju just saying. Uh, out of character, I'm just saying. But yeah, no. Oh, yeah. I'm hoping that if it... I mean, whether it does or doesn't get the confusion on it, I'm still going to try. I mean, it helped a lot with blue, to be fair. Well, no, what I mean is is that first confusion, then I start trying to bind it with the, uh, with the chain. Because at the very least, it might not notice. And... I could, I could also potentially try um, cursing it because I know one of the effects I can do will make it kind of just stand there for at least a, at least a, a bit. That's probably something it will shrug off through sheer force more of being than, a dragon. But more than likely. What but... what we really need to do, I mean that that's good for burning it, burning its ability to do that down for the bigger stuff but what i'm talking about right now is getting it to not notice enough for me to be able to wind chains where i need them right i, I, I was just thinking maybe doing the bestow curse making it burn the shrugging off might allow for the confusion to slip through that'll take too long oh okay we need to try to chain it straight away right okay because otherwise we're dealing with this thing from the air. We only have one actually airborne person. Yeah, the speed gotcha. is the key here. It's still something you should do. It's just... It's well, just not... Operations is... 
Yeah, it's 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 kind of it's kind of backwards. I'm not saying you shouldn't do it. I am saying that it's not something that can be done beforehand. We're talking gotcha. right. We're talking right now about order of operations up until it becomes the free for all. Gotcha. My bad. Basically, we get a bit of the chain earthed. Re Barnabas and I are where that is with the immovable rod helping because that's the thing if we start with the immovable rod there then the mold earth is just some more insurance we need as much as possible right up until i get it chained down so we have it hooked down there with these guys keeping it steady I fly at the very least to get its wings locked down, come back to where the immovable rod is, lock it from there. After that, it's a free-for-all. Ranged, you know where you need to stay. Or off to the sides. Yes, that's true. But... My, my thought is, are we going to be able to do that without it noticing even just the confusion? Because are you trying to, are you thinking of doing that before it notices us? Because well, if we can, if we can decide the battlefield, yes. If not, then just find a high up place. Because remember, those of us who are right up in the front are going to have most of its attention. Mm. I'm pretty sure you can find a place to stand that's well out of the way. While it's dealing with, for example, scale splitter. Hmm. I mean, those of us on the front lines just try and space. Of course, if we space out, then Ree's shield tricks are more or less useless. But if you stay together, the, the breath attack might get you all. Mm-hmm. They want as few people in the cone of fuck everything as possible. Well, exactly. So, yeah, spread out. We have, or I at least have, well, we both have our own means of shielding one another. I have more of them than you do. But we'll see. Just, you know, again, melee try to spread out. Ranged. Also spread out, but stay well back. Those of us who are neither fish nor fowl in that regard, use your own judgment depending on what the battlefield is doing. And uh, I will hold uh, the enough spell energy on hand to be able to dimension door a couple of times if need be, just as a as a as a in case. Probably just as well, but uh, hoping we won't need too much of that if we can if we can get it chained. I trust in Jenna's work. Definitely, and, you know, Im an immovable rod is an immovable rod. Yeah, those don't anywhere i'm sure something is probably strong enough to make them go somewhere but yeah it's it's kind of in the name <laughs> but it's still better than nothing at all mm -hmm, definitely so the four of you need to go first in if possible which of you needs a little more oomph in i that regard? i probably need to go faster just because of I basically need to act before the dragon does at the very least just on the basis of wrapping okay Alice say I can do multiple it's just I'd like to save some energy to yeah do do that I mean um, I can maybe do one more well like you're, you're talking haste right no, no not haste no. it's it's, it's a low level it's it just to make give you a little oomph to get 
started earlier out of character uh, it's, initiative. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, yeah, it's it's up in the initi- initiative order. Okay, actually, can you put the spell card up just so I know? Sure. Yep. So one d eight to initiative. Make a note. I'll wait until we're just leaving to cast it on you, just in case it. Well, we'll we'll know we'll know when we're close enough to to really need it. Um, I'm pretty sure we will know that we have entered closest dragon territory before. Uh, there'll be warning, so it is, doesn't okay. it's not something that needs to be done now. And that'll probably be around about the same point where Barnabas wants to drink his potion. It takes a minute to cast, so I just want to make yeah, sure I have enough time. I, it, no, no need to explain. I get it. I'm just, you know, again, it's. I'm used to thinking that way, because I used to have to think that way when I had to summon these, with the with the, you know, with the. It took about six seconds to summon them at one point. So, just because I don't have to do that anymore. Well, I do if I want to have the extra Radiant Woomph, but I can probably do that after the chain has been wrapped up, so. Okay. And beyond those basics, it just, we do what makes sense at the time. I'm pretty sure that, I'm pretty sure that most of us can, um, can, can figure out ways to bounce off each other. Re and I did just fine with, on that with the frost giants that was fun <laughs> the mar- I've been waiting to use that spell <laughs> the marrieds that slay together stay together <laughs> <laughs> okay we've we've ev- we everybody have had have had feast and we're as safe as we're gonna get let's Get a move on, do some investigation, see if we can actually pick the battlefield. Yeah. And yeah, it's sort of clambering up. Oh yeah, this is this is going to be this is gonna have to be straight up dex check. Not to, uh, athletics is not going to do you any favors here when you're trying to climb up the uh, the snowdrift. That's a nat one. Oh no. <laughs> Sixteen. And I'm gonna leave it as a nat one. Eighteen. 18. Damn. Yeah, basically what happens is that uh, most most of y'all, Rylan struggling a little bit, um, get to the top more or less okay, but Rylan's scrabbling has loosened things enough that as Faraday is starting to climb, uh, claws go into an already weakened segment, uh, it rips down and slams into Darwin, who was trying to climb a little bit too close because he's all agitated and jumpy and wants to get something done. So he was following too closely behind, and then Farida, all six and a half feet of her, land directly on top of Darwin. Squish. <laughs> Just. <coughs> Muffled. Oomph. And. And uh, a crunch. <laughs> we can't. Okay, he, we can't. Uh, oh, there you go. <laughs> no, we. It, it took a minute. It was all. Yeah. Uh, owl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Except the, the, the owl is. Yeah, because. Roll off of Darwin. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Wait, why am I apologizing? You're the one that leaned uh, it on me. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, it, this does not seem solid enough for me to just... Through. At which point, Alice is just, I have wings. Stay there. 
flap, flap. He grabs Farida under the armpits and lift. Poof. Back down. Grabs, oh. d- grabs Darwin in the bridal car. He scoop. Lift. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Are we done? We don't want to start this bruised. I don't think anything bru- got bru- got too terribly bruised aside yeah. from my ego. Yes, but still, are we done? Yes. I I know snow yes. is fun to play in, but uh, big dragon. Right. Ruffle, ruffle, Darwin's here. Pat, pat on Faraday's shoulder. Okay, everybody who's in going in the sled goes into the sled. I don't think that's everyone from me. I'm saying. Yeah, but that's, she's she's sticking with everybody who's going into the sled into the sled and letting you all sort yourselves out. Okay. <laughs> yep. In the sled. Yep. In the sled. Yep. Uh, yeah, it, it it Legolas drags you out of the hole because that that snow is deep. Legolas is plowing through a fair bit of it, but he's also kind of trampling a path as well so it's sort of half boomf and half scrunch and y'all are getting absolutely covered in snow <laughs> it's, it's like the splash mountain thing except with snow and continuous <laughs> and flitty is kind of cowering in Rylan's scarf that's a lot of like- snow yeah, it's a lot. That's a blizzard for you. And the woof from the sled. Of course, of course, Flitty, Flitty, Flitty is actually dressed for the for 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 the weather with this little hat with a little tiny pom pom that ties under the neck and a little sort of you know those doggy sweaters, right. like one of those and a tail warmer. But this is why he's why he's not why he's not freezing to death, poor little thing. But it was also cut to accommodate the wings. So, <laughs> so yeah, you have you have you have you have a little fairy dragon with a little white deer stalker cap with a pom pom. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of fun going this fast, though. <laughs> I can certainly agree with that. <laughs> I thought fast wasn't good for you. It was up that you liked. Well, up isn't exactly helpful right about now, so... I don't know. Given how much snow we're going through, up might be good. i go see up, but I am kind of small, and I think all that wind would... Blow me away. Yeah. Which we do not want. No, I don't think so. Oh, no, we don't. I want to try breathe before I breath another dragon. Maybe I can bite this one too. I bit a dracolich. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember the list. They they fought they fought a Dracolich, and and it it zapped him real real hard. And I didn't think Euphoria Breath was gonna do anything to anything that had lungs, but I had to do something because they were getting real out. So I beat him. Impressive. I don't think I heard him very much. That was kind of hanging off some bit of him. By my teeth. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Clarity was there for that one. Given that she speaks Sylvan, she's hearing this. <laughs> I knew about the Dracolich. I didn't know that you had bit it. Aggressively, more laughter. I it was hurting my friends. I was gonna do something about that. You you did real good. Welcome to Flitty. 
I was the common sense. And then Alice A turned up. And now I'm part of the common sense. And I'm also the emotional support fairy dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Knuckle. Yep. <laughs> I think I killed <laughs> Nix again. <laughs> the, bu the bundle that is Darwin is like, well, you can't really tell because we're in motion, but he's from laughing. Not so much from the sled going. Just, he's the Oh, I want, now I just want emotional support fairy dragon on a t-shirt. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I have plans for that. Oh, Lord. Of course you do. do. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done it yet. Yes! I have plans. Meanwhile, well, I'm sitting here going... We're saying it's not surprising. <laughs> I have friends that take commissions. Hmm. Oh, boy. <laughs> 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 And yes, I still have to do the key rings. I'm still pricing printers. Anyway. Yeah. Um, again, with the passive perception, it is uh, Rylan, who is probably trying to focus on something to get him to stop laughing, because it's clear that Flitty is so very, very earnest. It's not really funny to Flitty, but it's really funny when you're a bigger. And... Um, and Faraday, uh, who is, I think has learned Sylvan. I'm not sure. And I don't remember which language you have. It doesn't really matter anyway. Uh, it doesn't really matter anyway, but. Um, yeah, I do. Ah, so yeah, you, you did understand it. And it's a little less, uh, it's a little less laughing about it and more. Would Forseth have told her about the. Flitty incident? Probably better than bragging about anything he might have done. So probably. Potentially, yeah. You um I mean it's it's still blizzarding, but you two off in the distance see a it's difficult through the blizzard, but there's a sort of a gleam in spots on the horizon that it's largely Farida with what she knows from her childhood recognizes as ice wall, probably. And since Alice is on par with uh, with 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 Farida for uh, passive perception, it's oh goody. There's been ice construction. Wall. And pulls up, pulls up short with. Well, this is. This is, sh this is a good show of we're pretty much there. If you guys sort of squint, you might be able to see it. You probably can if you look hard enough. But there's, she's let she's let you get a little bit closer so you can see, what really does look like ice walls little rough compared to what you saw in Demil, but more from that book of Hazel's. Apparently they'll wall off parts of their lair. It certainly looks like a boundary. Well, I don't know if we're going to have to break through any of it, but, uh, I think any last minute preparations that we might need to make now is probably the time. Clarity leans over and casts Gift of Alacrity on Alice and Faraday, you need help with that? Um, uh. Faraday's not so much front line though. Well, I was wondering about the mold earth Oh, yes, good thought. Was going to need. Good thought. So, on Faraday. Barnabas, you want to chug? Sure. How bad does it taste? It's of... like... Mm -hmm. 
it's the consistency of cough syrup and the flavor is uh, blood and spore mold slushy. Barnabas chugs it, shudders for a couple of seconds, and then sort of shakes himself. You okay? Yeah. Mm. Mm. And you do I- you do feel stronger, and for the next hour, your uh, your strength uh, is twenty. Nice. So you do feel. Stronger, it's just given given the every flavor beans from hell. Alice has started to recognize your grossed out face. And digs around in 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 one of her pouches, pulls out one of the uh, uh, apple uh, apple cranberry uh, sweets and hands it over to Barnabas. It should deal with the taste. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm starting to get the hang of the face. <laughs> okay, I think best thing to do is leave the sled by the walls. Uh, Legs is going to need some maneuvering room, but I don't want to leave him out here on his own, so... Besides, he might be helpful. And unhitches Legolas, who's just... Doesn't take very long when uh, before you come to a gap that you'll all fit through, even legs. In the uh, in the ice wall, of course, in front of it, you know, you walk a little ways, you're, s- you're just a few steps, and you see more ice wall. It seems to be a maze of some kind that's been built up. Hmm. Enjoy another maze. Well, you don't like the rules of the game. Don't play. Flies up. They're not all that high. Fifteen feet or so. So you got Alice having a look and going, okay, well, follow me. Okay. Alice is leading us through the maze by being airborne? Definitely. While we're going through, I'm going to just look for traps. Okay. Uh, given your. I mean, you are moving, but uh, there's no disadvantage because Dungeon Delver um, perception. Mm-hmm. Yes. You're not yeah. seeing. You're not seeing any traps. I mean, to be fair, it would be hard to make any that would necessarily be visible, but there don't seem to be much in the way of glyphs or anything along those lines um mostly what you get is the fog is getting thicker and a bit colder you can still see alice she's not that far above you but it's starting to feel colder without being colder if you see what i mean and a little bit foreboding Legolas is clearly not impressed by any of this. Mm. It's only a couple of minutes of lefts and rights before you come to a little bit of an open clearing and what remains of a very different kind of wall. You remember the gates around the inn and little city town that was Gray's Inn, the capital. What you're seeing are the 
not so much broken, but shattered, as in frozen and smashed remnants of that wall. Those of you who left for Hearth Home from that point, which I believe was Remy, Darwin, Hazel, Ava, and Alice, obviously, but uh, the rest of you, I mean, Rylan and Faraday have never, Rylan, Faraday, and Barnabas have never seen Grey's Inn. Clarity saw it, but didn't know exactly what had happened to it. So this is the f first Clarity's really seeing, and now those that were there know what happened to the inn. I was there for the first time. Yeah, but like you, you weren't there for because uh, they they came and were there when Variadel first hit the place. Okay. So yeah, and Clarity is probably rather surprised, and these the rest of these are more oh gods, this is what happened. The it's not just bits of shattered log wall that are being found. You all remember that there were some people defending the space. So in and amongst the chunks and splinters of that wall are chunks and slivers of frozen body. going further in there's nothing that you could conceivably call a building anymore not even the big inn that was carved into the mountainside the few bits that remain are frozen trampled broken the only thing that is missing from the scene of carnage is blood, and that only because it all froze before it could spill. You can see remnants of the inn. The entire front has been collapsed, but there's still remnants of walls and smashed bits of furniture up from that gigantic inn. There is also a hole in the ground which you, some of you will remember, led to the rail station and the underdark below. There is another hole higher up, somewhere around the, you know, the upper floors of the inn. Both are of significant size. But right now you're seeing the end results of that war zone that some of you remember fleeing. Faraday heard about it in bits and snatches, not much. Rylan and Barnabas didn't even get quite that much detail. No one really wanted to talk about when they had to leave. But it doesn't take a lot of looking at the faces of those that had to evacuate to get a sense of what happened. If you were wondering, there were some survivors. They got not just the ones we got out. I mean, only two, but two was something. Apparently, the uh, 
Baron manage to get put on the last train out before they collapse the tunnel. But it's pretty clear they're looking for a way across. Something that won't be detected by whatever the Five Claws of Bahamut have done. Mm-hmm. Um, Barnabas, Rylan, Faraday, welcome to Gray's Inn. Mm-hmm. This was the capital. Shanira was living in the Underdark here. Part of why I'm very glad we got her out. Part of why we couldn't stay. Well, we have a couple of choices. I'm not seeing or hearing anything that suggests that Varadell's coming or knows we're here. We can set up as best we can and ring the dinner bell. Or we can just try and find him. But unfortunately, we don't know which of those holes is one we'd want. Because uh-huh. we got to do this soon. Some of this stuff is not going to last very long. Can I possibly uh Inside, insight to intuit which of the holes seems more Insa- likely. Ins- no, the insight is people, and you don't, right. you don't, you don't have a, you don't have a dragon face tr- that knows to read. Yep. Sorry, you use insight in the dumbest situations. Insight is reading people. Is, is, are the holes like at our level? Or the, uh, one, what? one is as 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 I said. One is down, one is on ground level and down, going down into the Underdark, and one is at the level of some of the upper floors. Alright. Um, would I know if a white... Uh, I think I'm, we said whites were more up. Uh, they're not up or down, they're frozen. Icy caves, doesn't matter what altitude uh uh, well can i look at the path going down see if it looks like it's been very traveled if it looks like anything's gone down there give me a give me a perception check would that would favor the enemy can apply to this um probably It's been it's been dug, and mm. it, it's it hasn't been dug. Yeah, it's it, and it hasn't been dug by a shovel. It's only been unbelievably. It's only been a couple of months. You couldn't mm. dig a hole that deep in a couple of months with a shovel. Mm. So this was obviously done by large claws, and even then, it was only done to empty out. You know, Remember, there was a basement, fairly deep one. So all it was really doing was clearing out more of what used to be a floor and a ceiling, and then digging beyond that. You'd have to go fairly down deep to know what kind of things were traveling. 
Darwin looks over it, <clears throat> looks at Barnabas and 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 Remy, and Alice. Say, I mean, look, you guys are more the more tactical thinkers. I mean, if we set up here, at least we choose where we fight it. I mean, is that? That's what is I. That, that's what I was thinking. But we've yeah. got people. I mean, do we really want to go? Trumping well, through unknown tunnels. That yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh. We don't really want to go be trumping through un through tunnels, and we probably don't want to go higher because we go higher, we go well uh, off Earth <laughs> and off, you know, moldable spots. Speaking so. of, the hand digs out chain, immovable rod. Hands one end of the chain and the immovable rod to Faraday. Lock it down as close to the earth as you can. Mold earth over the rest. All right. So, yeah. I say we ring it here. Okay. I concur. We're all in favor? Fine, mommy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. It takes hold of the chain because she's actually seen Varidel. Sending and loud enough for you all to hear. Hey, asshole! <laughs> We're in your base. What are you gonna do about it? Oh, and did I mention we killed your kids? Clarity's finding a place to hide. I'm looking for <laughs> a good spot to ready my. Yeah, we'll 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 settle all of that. Uh, I mean, just tell me what you're doing. Um, and I know Farida has to stay with the with 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 the chain. Thus, actually, no. Now that she's got that no, one end secure, yeah, which you, you've done. So, are you also moving to try to find a? Uh, not right off the start. She'll probably still be semi close to to the the chain there. Okay, and I mean, Remy and Barnabas have to stay fairly close, keep it mm -hmm. stable if nothing else. Um, yeah. Darwin's gonna find a spot where I can see, or uh, and I, I want to be able to see see the battlefield, but um, to, because I'm neither fish nor fowl, so. I don't know where I'm gonna go once it shows up, so I want to be able to see what it see where it ends up, so I can figure that out. Rylan, Rylan, I'm trying to, I'm trying to mentally map out this. Don't just tell me approximately what you're gonna do. Find a back line. I know there's probably. We're in a very open area, so I doubt there's a lot of... There's, there's debris. Doesn't matter. There's debris. Oh, okay. Um, I just want to be, like, 40-ish feet away from the, like, ground zero, essentially. Yeah, yet, yet, yet again, D don't, 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 don't try to give me measurements. <laughs> just say, are you moving back? I'm moving back. Yeah, are you moving back or are you finding cover? Both. Well, that that's what I mean. That, Sorry, that that's I'm, that's all I'm I. Overthinking this again. Yes, because I I just want a general idea, so that when I set up when I set up the map, because this is going to be a bit of a detailed one, mm -hmm. I know what I'm giving you all. I mean, I know where Remy and Barnabas and Alice and have to be where Faraday currently is. I know Ava's trying to find a good sniper position. I now know you're getting back and finding cover. That Darwin is trying to find a place to uh, view the battlefield, which is probably not going to be overly possible because there's nothing very high. And uh, yeah, well, it's it's mostly just uh, you're you're getting to... you're getting you're getting back basically because you can you can move you'll be able to move in so basically exactly. your one your two options are these staying close to where the chain bit is or are you moving back and if you're moving back are you trying to find cover so i know farida i know ava darvin's moving back rylan's moving back clarity um she's going to try to 
move a little bit back and um but mostly find some place to hide. Yeah, that that will involve moving back because they when they set up the chain it was in a fairly open area just from a point of view of you know not making it di overly difficult terrain for themselves. So trying to find cover so moving back. Hazel, you're the last one. Yeah, going to move back enough to be in some kind of cover. Okay. So that's what everybody's got. And it honestly does not take very long to get a response. And when the response comes, it comes from up. And it comes with the sound, which Rylan and Farida and Alice say here first. Very heavy beating wings. It's not long before the rest of you here, and only a fraction of a second after that, erupting from the hole at, you know, higher up on the cliffs. Those of you who've seen Varadell, there's something a little different about Varadell right now. White dragons are white. This one's streaked in places with a very dark gray. Oh, gosh. And still in the air for the moment. Well, this is going to be fun. And since we can't do this fight in 10 minutes, <laughs> <laughs> in, t in two weeks' time, it's probably going to be a long one because this one's going to get... There's no goldfish ball, guys. There's only mm -hmm. trusting that my dice will love you in terms of the <laughs> chain. Let's hope. So we'll see you in two weeks' time for a little different uh, Varadell fight than y'all might have expected. Ah. Later, guys. <laughs>